And welcome back to another podcast with Mr. Hagen. And on the last podcast, we looked at what happened when you get a a change in demand, an increase in demand or a decrease in demand. And on this video, we're now going to take that same idea and we're going to look at the supply side of the market. So let's look at what happens when we get an increase in supply and a decrease in in supply. These are the other two things that can happen when one curve shifts. And I apologize for uh, down here. This might be a little bit hard to see down here. And we'll just, we'll try to work around, uh, work around that, that wording down there. Uh, so, so we're looking at what happens when one curve shifts. We looked at what happened when a demand curve shifts right, when a demand curve shifts left. Now let's look at what happens when we get an increase in supply. And let's remember what these words mean. Supply means that the curve is shifting. And then increase means that it's going to the right. Remember, increase means right. Decrease means left. So this is increased supply. That means the supply curve is going to shift to the right. That's the mechanics of it. So we're at this current equilibrium right here. And now the entire supply curve is going to shift to the right. And we'll shift that to the right and call that supply curve S2. And then we find our new equilibrium, which is going to be with the where the new supply curve intersects the uh, demand curve and then we label our price and that's going to be a uh, new price of P2 and we label our new quantity and this is where it might be a little hard to see here our new quantity is going to be Q2 I'm just trying to keep it out of the way a little bit so there's my Q2 right there and so what are the four things we can say that have happened the first thing that we can say that happened is we had an increase in supply because the supply curve shifted to the right and and just be really careful with this some people might want to say you might be tempted to say oh that's a decrease in supply right because the supply curve went down no please don't make that mistake let me say that again really clearly this is not a decrease supply curves do not shift down they shift right and left they shift right and left right is an increase left is a decrease so this is an increase in supply because supply went to the right and by the way why is why is right an increase because we're measuring along the horizontal axis which is going to right where uh, right is an increase okay so supply curve shifted to the right that's an increase in supply. What happened on the demand side? Well, on the demand side, the demand curve didn't shift. We moved along the demand curve. Right there it is. We moved along the demand curve. So that is an increase in quantity demanded. That's the word that we use, quantity demanded. We don't say demand because the demand curve didn't shift. We say quantity demanded because we moved along the demand curve. And you say, wait a minute, Hagen, you have increased quantity demanded. Uh, that's a mistake. It should be decreased, Mr. Hagen. That arrow is pointing down. Uh, no, that arrow is pointing to the right. It is an increase from Q1 to Q2 is an increase in quantity demanded. All right, then what happens to the price? Price went down. Quantity went up, and so those are the four things that we can say. Increased supply causes an increased quantity demanded, a decrease in price, and an increase in quantity, which, by the way, is really great for the consumers. Consumers like this because they get more of the good at a lower price. All right, last one. How about when we get a decrease in supply? Decrease means left. Supply means the supply curve shifted. So the supply curve is going to shift into the left. Remember, that is not an increase. I know it looks like the curve went up. No, that is a decrease. The curve shifted left. That is a decrease in supply. Find the new, find the new intersection point. That's your new equilibrium. Come over and mark your price. Is now going to be P2. Your new quantity is going to be Q2. And then you write out the four uh, things that happened. That would be a decrease in the supply. Supply curve shifted left. That is a, be careful of this one, 
That is a decrease in quantity demanded. There's a lot to mess up there. Got to be really careful about this. It's a decrease. That arrow's not pointing up. It's going left. Quantity went left. Quantity went down. That's a decrease. And you say quantity demanded because you moved along the demand curve. So that is a decrease in quantity demanded. And then an increase in the price. Price went up. And a decrease in the quantity. A decrease in the quantity. So these are the four things you can say when the supply curve shifts to the left. When you get a decrease in supply, it's going to be a decreased supply, decreased quantity demanded, increased price, decreased quantity. You've got to practice these. You're going to have to do them on quizzes and tests. you got to know it. These are all the things that can happen when one curve shifts. There are four things that can happen. You get increase in demand. Demand goes right. Decrease demand. Demand goes left. Increase supply. Supply goes right. Decrease supply. Supply goes left. Those are the four things that can happen when one curve shifts. Thanks for joining me on another podcast. This has been Mr. Hagen, and we'll see you on the next podcast.